Howdy guys, it's Joe here today, talking about Zenyatta and maybe some tips on how to improve him, you know, word position and kind of everything from that, off from this player's gameplay. He's really, really good at this character, has a ton of kills, and the first thing I'm going to say is that when you do get a ton of kills as a character like Zenyatta, you should be proud of yourself instead of flaming your team, and that actually does work really well. This guy does amazing as this character. And anyways, he started off with a really nice engage. Uh, he was pretty much just supporting his team right there, you know, healing his team up. And that happens a lot of times. You don't really get carried by your team, but you aren't really carrying your team at the same time, you know. It just kind of happens. Um, but there are quite a few cool things that I like about this player. Uh, one of the things that I, we see very, very often is that he always hides behind walls when healing his teammates. And, of course, one about to shoot. Uh, right here, we see him behind a wall. And you're really going to be seeing this all the time right here he could be right next to his teammates but instead he's behind the wall and that's just kind of a place that is very safe uh, just around corners where the enemies can't hit him really at all where they can't even see where he's at overall i'm going to say that positioning is so important as every support in the game anna has a little bit of leeway because of course she can sleep dart people and she can of course heal herself a little bit uh, but people like zenyatta that essentially can just take a lot of damage and then heal it off when they're you know behind a wall for a second you should be trying to stay behind a wall of course, you can try to stay behind the um, cart, but a wall is just a little bit safer. People can often shoot behind a cart, and you can just kind of go from there. Right there, we saw a really nice play. He was probably thinking slash hearing uh, that there's going to be a mercy res, so he goes right up there, gets the mercy. Uh, I guess that like he really could have been a lot of different places, but he's just kind of checking around. Um, even if he didn't find a mercy right there, that was a very good place to go, as that was a hide advantage that he could use. He could easily drop down, use his ultimate as he did do. He could easily discard people, easily get a lot of headshots, and easily easily heal his team uh, from all over the map. Overall, getting a height advantage to get discord orbs, to get harmony orbs, it's a really good thing to be able to do, um, just because it does give you a really big advantage as projectile characters. Height advantages matter a lot more on these people uh, than hit scans, so try to get as many of those as you possibly can. Uh, right there, we saw some real nice positioning. He sees right here that he could get closer, but he's so far back uh, that he can't even be hit by that Reinhardt ultimate. Then he hears the soldier coming around the corner, charges that up, no reason to really not, and just keeps healing people, keeps going after people. And a thing that I like to say, um, that he does sometimes actually call out uh, when he's going to be harmony orbing his teammates, and of course he does sometimes call out when he's going to be discording the enemies. But a lot of the times what this player does, which doesn't require as much communication, I mean, it's probably the best idea to always tell your team, but if that can happen to be what you're you know, doing, uh, what you can often do is just discord people, that are being attacked by your teammates. They might not be the most important target or the target that you always want to kill, but a lot of times your teammates are just gonna keep going after the target that they're already also attacking. So if you can just, you know, discord that person, help them kill them a little bit, and then go after who you want to target after, or maybe call the second person out, that can really work. Of course, it's not as preferred as you want to get those high priority targets, but a lot of times it's like the only thing you can possibly do. As well, I'd like to talk about his ultimates in this game. That one was a little bit awkward. Uh, he kind of did a premature ultimate. I mean, it was pretty good, but um, where instead of waiting for his team to kind of get bursted down and then go for the ultimate, he went for it at the beginning, thinking that he was probably going to get hit by a lot of ultimates by the enemies. They saved a lot of them, and they just kind of got whomped after that. So it was pretty unfortunate. Uh, but after this, we don't really see any ultimates like that. Uh, we see very, very nice ultimates where he essentially just waits for the enemies to go for all their ults. Waits for the enemies to go for pretty much everything they're going for, even like a nano boosted Genji, and then he happens to use his, and it pretty much counteracts all of that. Uh, Zenyatta's ultimate is really strong if you use it at the right time. You, you have to use it when others have already gone for theirs. It's much more reactive than really any other ultimate in the game, uh, so do try to keep that out uh, as much as you can. Now, again, I would also like to say um, that you don't really have to stand right near Reinhardt walls. Uh, they do have a Reinhardt in this game, or at least they did for a while, and I'm pretty sure they still do. But we don't really see him standing next to the Reinhardt wall. We see him around this corner right here. Now, there's the little Reinhardt. But yeah, we see him around the corner right here. Uh, we see him, you know, standing really, really far backwards. He could be right over there next to Reinhardt. But if you saw, there was a Winston right there. I think there's also maybe a Genji. There's a few other players right there um, that could just happen to walk forward and maybe pop you off as Zenyatta. Maybe that would force you to use your ultimate. There could be a lot of stuff like that. While in this situation, since you're so far back and since you're so safe, uh, you really don't have to worry about that way too much. Right there, he ulted, of course, to try to stop that Winston. 
Uh, he did call out a little bit ago uh, to go for the Mercy, but fortunately there wasn't any Mercy to be found until they already went for the Ultimate. Um, but still, you know, just Discording, Harmony Orbing, everybody that you possibly can get at a close range. And uh, he's walking a little bit closer right here to try to finally finish people off. The majority of the enemy team is dead, and of course, projectile characters are a lot easier to hit with if you are close. So I'd say that's really like the only time to get close. If you have a huge numbers advantage, and you're pretty sure they don't have all their ultimates, uh, that can be a really good idea. And there we go, really nice offensive play, and here we are on defense, of course, trying to get an initial height advantage, you really just have that for free. And again, this is so important because you can stay far away, uh, you can't really be hit as easily by other projectile characters, melee characters really can't hit you way too much. You can heal your teammates a lot easier, you can discord people a lot easier and just kind of go from there. Jumps down from there though, so you know, it really kind of just depends, I guess, on what you want to be doing. Oh yeah, that does have a lot of cool things about it. At the same time, you are a little bit more restricted in your movements because you have to stay right where that height advantage is. So if someone like a monkey's there, uh, he could have just died because the monkey would have jumped on him. So that's probably why I changed it up right there. But yeah, overall, there's quite a few cool things. Now, what he could be doing here is just kind of spamming around walls. That's always a good idea. Um, but a thing that I really like that he is doing is making sure to look up at all times. I feel like a lot of people just kind of forget how important vertical movement uh, can be. Now, of course, they might have a Pharah, they might have a Genji, or they might have a Winston. They might have a lot of characters that kind of thrive with vertical movement. And a lot of the times, people just aren't really paying attention as much to upwards. Um, a lot of his teammates right here really aren't seeming to pay attention way too much to being upwards. And as a support... Uh, when you can pay a lot more attention uh, because you aren't directly in the front line trying to hit people at all times. Uh, it's something that you should be looking at, something that you should be trying to fire at because you can a lot of the time stop these people approaches just because they're afraid of getting hit and something that you really can just stop or at least, you know, kind of hurt uh, before they get onto your teammates, get onto your tanks, get onto your back line and get onto you. So yeah, do try to look up this guy does it really, really often and he always tries to have his camera where it's angled upwards just a little bit after he stops shooting people. Uh, it's a small thing, but it is a really important thing. And I would like to remind you guys that a lot of the times becoming a really good player isn't about getting the most godlike aim and hitting every single thing uh, as a headshot and just, you know, getting tons of kills like that. A lot of the times it's about positioning. It's about not dying. It's about staying back and getting out more damage than the enemies can get out. If you live, you know, twice as long in a fight, even if you're like, you know, a third less good at aim than the enemy, you still live a lot longer. You can still do a lot more. Your abilities are up for longer. You're chugging your uh, ultimate up for longer. You maybe might be able to use your ultimate. There's a lot more that you can do. So that that's probably one of the things you probably want to um, try to pay attention to a lot. I feel like a lot of people just kind of underregard that, even though it's one of the most important things, one of the best ways to get better, just by positioning. Right here, we see something that I really, really like, um, which is that his teammates aren't standing all right next to each other. Um, when you are happening to be in a Zenyatta ult from your team, you probably should have your teammates, you know, very close so that you can run in between them, but maybe not all directly on each other, because um, sometimes you could just get mauled straight through uh, by certain characters. Of course, Junkrat with his tire, Debo with her ultimate, stuff like that, you still don't want to have that possibility, and since Zenyatta can move so quickly, you can kind of just run in between you guys. Uh, so, if you are on Zenyatta's team, you should probably be thinking about that. Uh, before you have him ultimate, or just, maybe just tell him to do that, or just kind of not staying right next to your teammates uh, all the time with that. As well, we see with his positioning right here, he's kind of letting the Lucio stay more near the front line, pushing people up, uh, and then he's staying a lot more towards the back line, uh, trying to stop people from engaging from behind, trying to stop people from really just doing a lot, and still, majority of the time, healing his tanks, uh, because he does a lot more healing uh, than Lucio. Of course, he, wanted, he wants to focus on both of them, uh, but the tanks are a lot easier of a target to heal. And a lot easier of a target to kill with as Zenyatta. Uh, he also gets some really, really nice uh, alt fires where he just kind of mauls straight through a support. We saw earlier straight through an Ana. So you can just try to get a lot of those. If you're around a corner right here and you're really not doing anything, there's no reason not to alt fire. Of course, it's a very basic thing. A lot of people just don't do it though. They just kind of wait for people to walk around the corner and then go for it. Uh, you should always just kind of pre fire and make sure to pre aim. Think about where the enemy's head is going to be and shoot right there uh, before it is actually there. Uh, as they walk around the corner, they're probably going to get hit into the head. And even if they don't, well, you put out a good try. And it probably will work out next time. Now, continuing from here, we see they have very little time left. What his teammates can try to do is either pick a lot of people, get a nice height advantage, which a lot of them do have, or try to bait out a lot of ultimates. Right here, they go for quite a few picks. Uh, they get quite a few kills right here, and then I think only Tracer is alive. A few other characters are alive, but the majority of the team is dead. The enemy team tries to go for a counter engage with all their ultimates, but since Zada saved his for that, uh, they really can't do much right there. 
you know, Ryan needs a little bit of healing. But yeah, overall, by saving his ultimate, he got rid of really any chance for the enemy team uh, to be able to do anything. And of course, you want to remember that when Reinhardt is very low, do heal him. You can heal him through the shield. Doesn't really matter way too much. And right there, simply by saving up your ultimate, he pretty much won his team the team fight. And by doing so much damage and by hitting so much shots, you can see the result is already almost up again. So you do want to remember that. You don't have to save your ult so much as Zenyatta because if you get a lot of hits, it charges super fast. And you can just get a lot of ults out, get a lot of kills out. Um, but yeah, play it very reactively and kind of, you know, just kind of go with stuff like that. Overall, though, try to play yourself defensively. Um, you can get a lot of kills while playing defensively, which is just this guy. He, had, I think, had gold limbs, and I'm pretty sure gold damage, but maybe silver damage. But overall, that's really, really good stats, uh, considering that he is the support player. So, as you can see, if you just play safely, and if you just try to get out that good, consistent damage, it can do a lot better than just running up, getting a few kills, and then dying. And your stats are going to look a lot better, and you're probably just going to win a lot more games. So, you can try to do that in the future. I'll just give that a go, and tell me how it all goes in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, I guess. Uh, subscribe if you want to see any more future content. And as always, thank you guys all for watching, and have a wonderful day.